Do you like waffles? Yeah, we like waffles. Do you like pancakes? Yeah, we like pancakes. Do you like French toast? Yeah, we like French toast. Dip, 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 dip. Can't wait to get a mouthful. Waffles! Waffles! All right, starting with episode eight, we're going to begin our exploration of the boundaries of the cell, specifically cell membranes and the cell wall, which is what this episode is about. So what is a cell wall? Well, the cell wall is a structure that surrounds the outside of certain types of cells. Those would be bacteria, fungal cells, and plant cells. No animal cells on this one. In fact, one of the characteristics of animals is no cell walls. Now, what is the job of a cell wall? So, for example, like, like in your notes, want to make sure on this one that you write down that this is a function. Provides protection. So think of it like a armor around the cell. It's going to provide support, especially in plant cells. It's the number one reason why a tree can stand up nice and strong throughout whatever weather comes at it is because it has cell walls. So think of cell walls as wood because that's what wood's made out of. Now, it's found on the outside of the cell membrane. And remember, another name for the cell membrane is the plasma membrane. So these are on the outside. Now, bacterial cell walls are made up of a molecule called peptidoglycan. And the word peptidoglycan is trying to tell you what it's made out of. Peptidol, think of peptide, means that it's got some protein in it. And glycan refers to glycogen, which is a type of carbohydrate. So this is made out of protein and carbohydrates. And if you look over here on this picture, if you see the real kind of light blue area right in here, that's the cell wall. It's going to give that cell some form of protection and a little bit of support. All right, so let's get rid of that. Oops, wrong button. Fungus cells. What we have over here in this picture is a typical fungus. and In fact, this is actually a yeast cell. And on the inside, you've got your cell membrane, but on the outside, you've got a cell wall. Now, the cell wall of a fungus is made out of a chemical called chitin. Chitin is a carbohydrate, and it is the same carbohydrate that's used to make the exoskeleton. Let me get myself caught up here. Exo means outside, and of course, skeleton means skeleton. So this makes up the exoskeleton of bugs, also known as insects, but it's a lot less letters to write bugs, and crabs. So whenever you're having peel and eat shrimp or you're cracking open a lobster or you step on a bug and you hear it crunch, you're breaking down this carbohydrate called chitin. And it just so happens that chitin is used to make the cell wall in a fungus. So think of a mushroom, yeast cells, um, some slimy molds, you know, all kinds of molds, those would have it in there. All right, so let's get rid of that. Let's move on to the next one. All right, plants. When we think of cell walls, we're almost always going to think of plants because that's the number one thing that, um, that you're going to find cell walls in. And in fact, wood and the paper you're writing on is made out of a component called cellulose. Cellulose, OSE, is a sugar, so remember that this is a carbohydrate. All right, so let's look at this picture in here in a little bit more detail. This green stuff around here, that is going to be the cell wall. Now, the cell wall allows the plant to stand up nice and strong and give it a ton of protection, but it's such a rigid brown boundary that it's hard to get stuff in and out through it. So cells have these special structures right here called a plasmodesmata, pretty much kind of a series of holes that allow the cell membrane from one plant cell to fuse with the other. So think of like we got one plant cell here and we got one plant cell here. Each of my hands is a plant cell. They got a connection in there, and that connection is called the plasmodesmata because their cell walls are very, very thick. All right, this is a really, really short episode because it just covers these things. So make sure that you pay attention. And remember, anything in color means that it could be a really good chance to be on a test or a quiz. So review this one again. Uh, bacteria cells. They have cell walls made out of peptidoglycan. Fungus cells have theirs made out of chitin. And plant cells are cellulose. So until the next time, catch you on the flip side.